So I wanted to do a video around a tool that's popular around the jungle circles for a while now. It's called the Akaiser, which is based around the classic Akai sampler. It emulates the time stretching of the Akai sampler to give you that old school jungle sound. So the Akai had an algorithm which gave it a very unique sound when we stretched out certain breakbeats or even vocals. So it gave us that original jungle sound. So we're going to be using the Akaiser today to replicate that time stretch Amen sound found in a lot of classic records as well as a lot of records that are coming back into fashion today. And I'll leave a link down below so you can grab the Akaiser. It's an awesome little piece of app. By the way, my name is Stranger. If you want to improve your music production and sound design, especially with drum and bass and dance music, then this channel is for you. And today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on this later. If you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated on the latest videos. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I'm providing additional exclusive content. By the way, I know a lot of you are probably wondering about this shirt. It's a new prototype that I'm working on and it will be available soon. So stay posted when I'm gonna be releasing this shirt. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so this is the Akaiser app, which emulates the time stretching of the classic Akai sampler, which is iconic for that jungle sound. So if you want those time stretched Amen sounds, this is what you use to emulate that classic vibe. It's really simple you, to use. You can just drag and drop a wave file or you can click the open button and open a sample, a breakbeat or vocal or whatever you want to stretch. So I just pulled in a clean Amen break and there's really only three parameters to use here to manipulate your break. So there's the time factor, which is the duration of the sample. So 100% would just be the normal duration. 200 would be twice as long, 50% uh, would be half as long, and so forth. It can go as high as 2,000%. So the cycle length determines the length of the snippets used it time stretch a sample. So when you're stretching out a sample, you have to fill in the gaps to make that stretched sound. So the cycle length just t determines the length of those little snippets that create the stretched sound. Typically, the shorter the length, the more flangy the t sound, whereas as you go up, it starts to sound more robotic or metallic. So just keep that in mind. And then there's the transpose button, which is the pitch of the sample. So we'll just play with a couple parameters. Let's first play the original sample by clicking the play button. And then let's make it twice as long, so 200%, and then hit preview. So that's at a thousand cycle length. Let's bring it down to say 50. So now you get that flangey sound. Let's try 150. Right, so you get that flangey sound, 300. All right, so this is where it starts to sound more robotic or metallic. So let's try doubling that. And let's go even higher, 1200. So once you get up to a thousand to two thousand, that's when it starts to sound stuttery, like the old school jungle sound. So let's bring it up to the max. So that reminds me of the Jano, your big Amen stretch sample that Dillinger did. So let's play with the transpose. Let's make this try 12, so one octave up. Pretty cool. Let's stretch it to an extreme. Let's try 400%. Pretty sick. Let's bring down the cycle length to, let's say, 500. All right, that sounds sick. Let's bring it back to original time factor. 
Oh, that sounded cool, like some old school jungle. That's at the thousand cycle length. All right, so as you can see, you can get some pretty cool Amen jungle sounds, classic jungle sounds with stretching some breaks with this. So I'm going to go ahead and then make a couple settings and then export them. All you do have to do is just click save file and it will export it as a new file. All right, I'm going to start exporting. All right, now that we exported a bunch of samples, let's import it into Ableton. We're going to chop it up and put it in an Amen sequence. All right, so here's the original Amen. Now I'm going to work in audio this time. I know most of the time I chop my breaks in MIDI, but just for a change so, so I can show you things a little more visually, we're going to chop it up in audio. So what I do is I zoom into each uh, hit and I slice it into an individual hit. Command or Control E is the shortcut. And once you have them all sliced, then resequence it onto the grid. The reason why I slice up each hit and I resequence it as opposed to just warping it to my tempo in Ableton is that doing it this way, it preserves the original tone of the Amen. If you were to use the warp feature, it might introduce artifacts or unwanted tonal changes to the Amen. So I do it like this to preserve the original tonality of the Amen. And there we go. Very nicely sounding slice of an Amen here. All right, the next step is I imported one of the Akaiser stretched Amens. Now, since this sample is stretched already, then I don't mind going into Ableton and then just making this warp to the tempo of our track. So simply I'm just looking at this and then changing the tempo here. So the hits line up to the grid. So around there looks about right. It doesn't have to be exact because what I'm going to do then is then take each slice and then warp it to the right point. So for example, there's a slice here. You can move that. Just add a warp marker and then move it to the right spot. Don't need this part. All right, and it sounds good. And from there, you can slice up each slice within the arrangement view, same way as before. Just put your cursor on the beginning of the hit and then Command or Control E to slice it. And then you can take each slice and rearrange it. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're a beginner and you want to learn the basics of using Ableton and sequencing drum and bass, then make sure you check out my Ableton Essential Exercises on Skillshare. I just came out with a new series today called Level 4, which is Beginners, Bass lines. So make sure you check that out if you want to improve your bass lines. And for those who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you improve your passions and creativity. In addition to my Ableton classes, there's some awesome design and marketing classes which are essential skills to learn as a musician today. The benefit of Skillshare is that there are no ads and it costs less than $10 a month on an annual membership. And the first thousand people that use the link in my description will receive a free trial of the premium membership. So check it out and I'll see you at my class on Skillshare. So here are all the Amen samples sliced up. This one, I did some time stretching and mapped it to the same tempo using the warp mode. The others, I left the tempo the same. So now that I have them nicely laid out here, then it's easy to make an Amen sequence and then interchange various hits. So let's make an Amen sequence here. I'm going to take this section here and let's paste it over here. So we have this 
And let's duplicate this section like that. And then we'll take the kick, duplicate it. All right, so that's our loop. So we're gonna take different hits in this loop and replace it with various time stretched samples from our group of amens here. So I just moved everything to the right of the sequence so it's easier to pull samples over. So let's check out our sequence again. So I'm thinking of replacing this section with some time stretch samples. So let's take out these guys and let's replace it with this kick. And then we'll take a snare from this guy. All right, so let's hear that. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna replace these last two hits. Now they're both kicks. And we're gonna use some of these time stretch ones in the bottom here. Now these slices, just remember they're twice as long. So we only need half of each hit. So we can just highlight half and drag it over like that. And then similarly, we can drag the whole thing another way to do it and then just overlap it halfway like that. So now you have this. All right, so now let's hear the entire sequence. All right, sounding more like jungle now. All right, let's take our sequence and duplicate it three times. So now we have a full eight bar sequence. And now we can interchange more parts to make it sound more like jungle. So I'm thinking this one, we can replace with some flanging. So I'm gonna take this entire section out and then we're gonna use these guys over here. So remember half of each slice. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's hear it together. All right, sounding so good, so good. All right, finally, we're gonna take this last stretch here. Replace this kick with that time stretch snare. So we can take the snare here. And since we're using the full snare as a time stretch snare, you can take the full thing, drag it over. All right, sounding good. All right, so I pulled in an 808 bass sequence here so we can hear the whole sequence in context with some bass. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, jungle, jungle, jungle. This is what we live for. And as you can see, this is an awesome tool to manipulate your breaks and almost make your breaks sound musical. You can interchange slices as if the Amen was playing a melody going through the different time stretch slices. It's a really fun way to compose a track with break beats and I encourage you guys to Try it out. All right, so that was my demo of the Kaiser. Awesome little app to time stretch your samples, your breaks, and even your vocals to replicate that original jungle sound. So I encourage you guys to grab this app, try it out, and then try different samples, try different parameters, and see what kind of results you get. It's a fun little tool to play with, and I mean, jungle is so popular today, so I wanted to show you guys this tool, which has been used a lot in the jungle circles. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video. Hey, if you wanna support me, you can grab a number of my products. I have a gnarly serum preset pack with over 150 face melting base presets. As well, I have some Ableton project files to jumpstart your next idea. But if you're not ready yet, you can pick up my free serum preset pack and my free sample pack. For more information, check the links down below.